Good day, YouTube. Uh, been a couple of weeks since my last video. Sorry about that. Uh, not only has the weather not been consistent, it's been rainy, cloudy, and even a lot colder than it should be this time of year. But uh, I was sick last week, and uh, I had a lot of other stuff I had to catch up on. Um, but uh, no more waiting. I got about uh, a good four or five weeks straight of... Uh, consistent videos coming out one week after another. So uh, stay tuned for that, guys. But uh, uh, if you saw a couple weeks ago, my last review was uh, not a Power Rangers or Super Sentai review. It was actually a uh, Kamen Rider review. It was actually the, uh, rev the Henshin Brace for Kamen Rider Necrom from the series Kamen Rider Ghost. Um, now, like I stated before, um, I'm not always going to do... Um, Kamen Rider stuff on a normal basis because I am primarily a Power Rangers Super Sentai channel but um, and fan, obviously, but I do like everything Tokusatsu, which basically includes uh, Kamen Rider, uh, Ultraman, uh, Godzilla, Super Sentai, all that stuff. So anything anything that has to do with uh, superhero, Japanese superheroes or giant monsters. So, uh, But uh, this week, like I said, no Kamen Rider review. Might actually do another Kamen Rider review in the near future, maybe next week or the week after. But today I have another Super Sentai review for you. Not a Power Rangers review, a Super Sentai review. Now, so obviously Super Sentai is Power Rangers, and Power Rangers is Super Sentai. If you want to call it that. But anyway, uh, today I have another um, Henshin device review for you, as in uh, a morpher, basically. Um, today we're going to be talking about um, Shuriken Sentai Nin Ninja, um, which obviously here in America we are calling it Power Rangers Ninja Steel. Um, I've already stated before in my Ninja Steel reviews um, that I don't like the fact that they changed the morphers. Um, the morphers from Shuriken Sentai Nin Ninja, they're supposed to be using their, uh, their ninja swords, the, basically um, the stars go on swords on the hilts, they spin them, they transform. Uh, now here in America, in Ninja Steel, they gave them um, these little star battle morpher, um, handheld morphers, obviously. I have no idea why, mainly just for the fact I think Saban wanted to sell more toys. Um, I've gotten into that in the past, and I'll probably keep on talking about it because it's just freaking annoying. It's just annoying. I can't, I can't stop talking about it, how annoying it is. Um, the fact that uh, that he will change things and add things that weren't there before just so he can sell more toys. Um, uh, some might say it's a bit shameful. Other might say, oh, well, he's making money, so how can you blame him? I can blame him. Trust me. I can blame him a lot. But, uh, but today, um, I'm going to go ahead and give you uh, the Morpher, or the Henshin device, from Star Ninja, or rather the Gold Ninja Steel Ranger. Um, now, if anyone has seen Shuriken Sentai and Ninja, you would know that um, Star Ninja, or the Gold Ranger, has a different morpher than the rest of the Rangers. Now, the rest, the, the main five Rangers in Nin Ninja had their swords to morph with, and obviously here in America we changed it to the little battle star things. But the Gold Ranger, or Star Ninja, as he's called, he actually transformed in a much more unique way. Um, he still had the Shuriken, the, the or the Power Star, um, that obviously gave him the power of, of being a ranger. But to transform, he actually used, don't laugh, it's a hamburger morpher. I know what you're going to say. That's, that's absolutely outrageous. Hamburger? Really? Not only is a hamburger an American, more of an American food item, um, and this is a Japanese series, um, again, Star Ninja from Nin Ninja was supposed to be a Western-themed ninja. He was supposed to have uh, been born in Japan, obviously, um, trained as a ninja as a child, but he moved to America when he was a child, and um, I'm supposing became somewhat of a musician. Um, again, I'm not, I don't speak fluent Japanese, and uh, I, I do my best trying to translate the show in Japan when I watch it, um, but obviously I'm going to miss a few things here and there because I don't speak fluent Japanese. Um, I do the best that I can. I know very little, but I usually know enough to get me by. But uh, it was, re it, it is, it is a little bit strange. A Western-themed ninja, and uh, they don't really explain the reasoning behind the hamburger morpher in the Japanese series, which could be a reason why here in America, for Power Rangers Ninja Steel, they changed the morpher for the Gold Ranger from the hamburger. 
to another one of those stupid little battle star morphers that they gave all the other rangers. So therefore, in this series, the gold ranger is not unique in any way whatsoever, except for his weapon, which was the guitar sword, um, which uh, he still had in the Japanese version, um, obviously, um, and they really not changing a whole, a whole lot with that. It's uh, the, the guitar sword is still his sword. Um, originally, I had thought that they were going to make the guitar sword the Gold Ranger's primary morpher because, oh, they changed the, the main five Rangers morphers to these little Battlestar things instead of their swords, so maybe they'll just switch it up and just do a reverse thing with the main five and the Gold Ranger. And they didn't do that. They just gave them the same boring morpher that all the rest of the five house. And all six of them have the, the same boring little morpher. They all wear the stupid little black spandex suits uh, before, before they morph, which, again, makes no sense. I mean, if they're, they're in the process of morphing from a civilian into a Ranger, and but when they're when they pull out their morphers they're wearing just regular street clothes but as soon as they start uh, they, they 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 begin to morph they're wearing these black suits when did they put those on how did they have time to put those on it's bad enough that sometimes the morphing sequences are so long and drawn out that it's just it's not realistic you figure the monsters would have attacked them by now i mean it's ridiculous so now we're going to go from not only wearing you know from civilian clothes to ranger form you go to civilian clothes to some kind of undersuit, then to the ranger. And again, in reality, that would take too damn long, and it's just not, it's just, it just doesn't look right. Um, now, if they showed the morphing sequence when they're wearing their civilian, their regular clothes, and then they morph, and then all of a sudden it shows those black suits going onto them, like with some kind of special effect, and then they begin to morph into the rangers, I suppose that would be okay too, almost like a stepping stone, but no. They go straight from it's morphing time in their regular clothes. And then we get a skip scene. It basically, you know, we get a jump scene. It cuts to them just all wearing the black suits. And then they, and then they morph. And then they turn into the Rangers. So it makes makes no sense, and it draws things too, out too long, and it's not necessary. But you guys didn't click on this video probably to see me or hear me rant about Power Rangers Ninja Steel again, about how terrible it is. You probably want to see the actual um, the actual toy review. Um, it's sitting right next to me. Um, first, I'm going to uh, uh, get at the actual the, the Power Star or the um, the Shuriken. Um, now, this part here is removable. This is how the toy comes. It comes in three different pieces here. Um, I'll get to the actual uh, the actual burger device in a moment. Um, but uh, um, obviously, like I said, the Shuriken and or and or Power Star for Star Ninja or the Power Rangers Ninja Steel Gold Ranger. Got a little tongue-tied there. Um, but uh, it's actually kind of a little fun little toy. Um, doesn't take uh, large batteries, obviously. You figure, um, and here's, here's the kicker, you figure the batteries would go in the actual morpher device, but the battery is actually in here. It's actually in this little device here. It takes, um, I believe, uh, two LR44 batteries, which are like watch batteries, um, and there's no on-off switch. Once again, no on-off switch. So basically, um, if these batteries get drained because I can't turn the toy off, I basically just have to put new batteries in and buy new batteries. And uh, the LR44 watch batteries are not exactly easy to get your hands on. You either got to order them or go to a specialty store. They don't just sell them anywhere, like, like say, at Walmart or something. They just don't sell them there. Um, but uh, it's, it's an interesting. Obviously, this, this part here is made out of a more um, flimsy, uh, rubbery plastic obviously to prevent uh, breaking and stuff like that wear and tear you could throw this thing across uh, across a field or a parking lot and go pick it up and it'd be absolutely fine probably um, aside from any dirt or whatever is on it um, this right here is actually um, you'd think it looks like really light really small it's actually got some weight to it um, like a, it'd, be, it'd be a really good paperweight um, and uh, this part I don't get here I wanted to show you this this the helmet here if I'm not pressing the buttons all, all the time, it flips up, and you see, like, just half of the Gold Ranger's face, and then this just flips back down. There's, it, that's all it really does. It doesn't make a sound or anything while doing it. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that just, they just wanted that to look more three-dimensional, so they added that there. So, again, I don't, I don't really know. Um, it has all sorts of funny little switches on it that obviously you can... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so obviously it's a Japanese toy. That's just when you hit the uh, button on the very back here. Um, but uh, 
aside from uh, the toy being very simple, um, again, I just wanted them to stress that the fact that the battery is in here, you can't turn it off, and the batteries for it are rare and and or and or expensive. So uh, to get everything started here, you take this, you position it first with the top point of the star, not facing directly adjacent with the helmet on the Gold Ranger here. You just want to put it slightly off to the left, just slightly off to the left, and then. Then once it's on there, and it's on there good and snug, and it can't, doesn't go on anymore, you simply just twist it clockwise. And the uh, device will obviously say Star Ninja Shuriken, and it will start glowing. Um, now, you don't, I found out a little trick. You don't need the burger to actually get the morphing sound out of this because the switch for it technically is right down here. The mechanics of this thing is really, really weird. I've never really seen anything like it. Um, like I said, because since all the sounds come out of this, not that, but this, uh, the, the hamburger device actually has buttons on it that when you press, it obviously uh, uh, corresponds and presses all the switches and buttons on this. So again, it's like you can use this by itself. Or you can use it with that, but you can't use this by itself. This is basically just completely useless by itself. No batteries, no sounds, no lights, no nothing. It's just a hunk of plastic with some stickers and, and an interesting little paint job, obviously. But uh, once that's on there, obviously, you can... This switch right here, by the way, that black switch is the release. You hold that, and you can on and off. Just like that. Clockwise, counterclockwise. Um, but if you obviously... Put it on. I will go ahead and um, show you the burger. Um, now, this, uh, it obviously, it'll look more like a burger once this is inside of it, obviously. It looks like it's, uh, um, it's missing, it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's missing the meat, basically. But, uh, I guess you could call this the meat. <laughs> I said that. Um, Again, uh, no release mechanism to open and close this. It basically just opens, snaps open, and then snaps shut. Simple as that. Let me give you a good close-up of that. It's got some interesting decal and paint job on it, but um, for the most part, yeah, um, it's, just a, it's just a hamburger. And um, I'm supposing when it's in this position, when it's open, you see there on the inside, it's got buttons on it. Um, Almost like it's a phone. I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's supposed to be a phone. Um, yes, if anything, I'm actually certain it's supposed to be a phone. I've never seen a phone like this in my life, except unless it was just some kind of ridiculous novelty or something. But um, what I think is funny is that you actually see, you see that right there in the top left. It almost looks like the YouTube icon, doesn't it? That's a little funny. Um, but. Uh, if only they knew that the toys they made would be reviewed by people like me all over YouTube and people would basically... I don't know if anyone's ever noticed that. I don't know if anyone's ever noticed that. It looks like the YouTube icon. That is really, really weird. I just now noticed that myself. Uh, but in any case, this is open. It's in the open position. You'll see on the inside here that the uh, inside spins, obviously, with this. So... Ooh, how about that? <laughs> the functions on this are very, very finicky. All the switches and everything, if you just touch it slightly, it's going to go off. So you got to be very careful when handling this, or else the whole morphing process just obviously, the, the, basically the sequence just won't be right. You do that as it's glowing. You put it in here, like so. And once it's attached, and it just clicks in, and it just clicks in. But to release it, there's a release on the back. You gotta hold both these clips in, and then pull out. Um, so uh, the red button here on the side is pretty much the only button, other than the release mechanism. It's the only button on the actual hamburger device, on the actual burger morpher. So uh, or star burger, whatever you want to call it. But uh, you hit the button to initiate the morphing uh, jingle or morphing sequence. a nice little, uh, I guess you could say, uh, like a ninja or samurai tune. 
they would do a dance or a motion, say shuriken henge, and spin. So yes, um, that's pretty much it. Um, it's a very, very simple morpher. It's not overly complicated. Um, and again, the sounds that come out of it, it only has uh, just a few sounds. Um, there's really not anything else you can do with it at this point. Um, other than when you close it, it looks like a burger. <laughs> a very odd one at that, yes, but still a burger. Um, and uh, I um, don't have a whole lot much more to say about it, um, other than the fact it's very unique. Um, you can tell the reason why Saban didn't use this was because it's a burger. No other reason than that, I'm thinking. Just because he thought and every and he thought everyone in America would think that this is stupid. And granted, it's whimsical and it's original and it's uh, it's very very unique. But uh, I wouldn't even call it stupid. It's just different. Um, people always obviously judge um, harshly what they don't understand fully. Um, me, myself, I'm still trying to understand this, but, um, but regardless, I still would prefer a unique morpher device, um, a transformation device over just the simple, plain, little, little cheap Battlestar morpher that they made, that all the rest of the Rangers, that he gave the rest of the Rangers in this series. I would have preferred the actual, uh, sword morphers, um, and I would have preferred if Saban had kept this for the Gold Ranger. Even if he didn't keep this, he could have at least made the Morpher the Guitar Sword and not just given him the same stupid Morpher that he gave the rest of them, just so he can sell more toys. But, but again, flip this up. I'll show you how to release it. Two black clips on the back. You hold those in, and you pull it out. Simple as that. So... Not overly complicated, very simplified, but still fun to play with and still obviously looks really cool in your collection. Um, I plan on getting some more stuff from Nin Ninja. I probably will get the um, one of the Morpher Swords um, from uh, Nin Ninja just so I can make a comparison to the crappy American Battlestorm Mor Morpher, which I do have and I can. I probably should have compared it with this, but it wouldn't have been proper. Um, uh, but so... <sighs> Not much more to say other than another missed opportunity by Saban. So, until next time, guys. Um, until next week, actually. Which sounds like my time's up anyway. It sounds like I've got people making uh, noise out here. So, uh, until next time, guys. Rangers, ready, go.